Hello, this is Robert McMurr, and the show I'm going to talk about today is DC's Legends of Tomorrow, who just aired their 100th episode, where it's not a lot of shows get to 100, and they still have the rest of the season to go. This was episode three of the seventh season. Um, and a lot of these shows, a lot of these characters been on before the show started. Like the main person on the ship is Katie Lutz. If, sorry if I pronounced her name wrong. She plays Sarah Lance, the White Canary. And basically she been on since Arrow season two. And yeah, and basically there's, uh, yeah, several actors and everything um, that's been on, uh, that's been on like Arrow and the Flash before getting on this show. Not a lot of them is the original Legends, I think, uh, other than the computer Gideon, the only original Legend is... Sarah Lance, while, he, while some of these came on in season two, season three, and so on and so forth. Um, yeah, um, and uh, most of them never even met like the season one legends. And this hundredth episode, we got to see the OG legends hang out and work with the newer legends. Even though it's been basically all in Gideon's mind, who is now a human, thanks to the events of episode one of this season. Basically, the whole game is uh, stuck in 1925, because at the very beginning of episode one, the, the, the ship, the Wave Rider, blew up when another Wave Rider basically flew past and dropped a bomb. And uh, basically, yeah, it ended up in pieces. And uh, Astra, uh, who is played by Olivia Swan, she tries to do a resurrection spell to uh, basically put the um, ship back together again. And uh, fortunately, it does not work. Yeah, uh, she gets, she injured herself because of the spell, and, um, yeah, and then, um, uh, yeah, so most of the legends, except for a couple of, uh, uh, except for a couple of them, started their way to New York City to look for this doctor that is supposed to be that supposedly events time travel in 1925. Um, yeah, but they have like the FBI and everyone on, on their tails because they like the FBI thinks they're bank robbers. And um, yeah, so um, yeah, they, they their journey starts in Odessa, Texas with the name Odessa, Texas has been used in other sci-fi series before, like the TV show Heroes use Odessa a lot. Yeah, so basically why they are basically split up into two groups, one staying in Texas and the other on the way to New York. Um, Gideon becomes human. Get, well, the ship doesn't get re resurrected, but the computer does into a human body. And, um, yeah, it takes her, like, a little bit episode to be able to use the new body and talk. Uh, and, um, at the beginning, uh, well, if you remember the events of last, if you watched the show last season, let me put it that way, and uh, last season... This scientist from far, the far for the future tries to destroy the world 
and they used the younger version of himself to try to fix a uh, poison that fight ended up through a poison and the and basically they tried they did a whole flashing thing erased the mind of the younger person or at least they thought but what they did not think of the younger person copied the computer's uh software into a hard drive and snuck it into his jacket and so when he woke up in his time he saw the hard drive and started having nightmares of what happened when he was working with the lessons uh and he spent basically a year of from his point of view making a computer that could connect to this hard drive where he could activate the G gideon's operating system that he copied so basically has all the genius memories and everything else. But in the 1925 time frame, the human Gideon basically is able to walk and this hundredth episode, she has like a malfunction and basically collapses. So Astra and yeah, Astra and the, um, uh, what's her name? Spooner, let's just call her Spooner. Goes, use a spell to go into Gideon's mind. Where they meet a uh, OG legend, Jax. Who is kind of the mechanic. And uh, basically for a few seasons. And um, who is also half a firestorm. And... He basically sends Spooner and Astra into Gideon's memories with Gideon to try to help her out. And we see like the original legends and the new legends in the in her mind. And uh, yeah, it's like a, this is a great tribute episode and everything and um i don't want to say too much more but uh yeah it's, there's a virus also in the mind that is trying to basically eliminate all the legends which i think that scientists they brought from the future to fight his older self might have accidentally created the virus when he activated the copy of Gideon's operating system in the future and factory reset it. Um, in, in my opinion, I think that's what happened. And I think this the virus is the other version of Gideon uh, because that is somehow connected to each other. I think later on this season we're going to have a Gideon versus Gideon fight like a flesh and blood Gideon versus a Gideon in like a computer system and um it might be something similar to Vision fighting Vision in WandaVision uh yeah but I'm Excited to see what happens. I know a lot of people don't like Legends because it's not like the other Arrowverse shows. It, most of the Arrowverse, especially Arrow, is more grounded. Why DC Legends let loose and kind of break the fourth wall and get a little meta by talking about the crossover. And um, yeah. And I kind of like it and everything. I do hate when they have get rid of a f like fan favorites. Like last year, they got rid of Ray Palmer, uh, but he came back for this episode, and he is coming back for like a flash crossover event that that's going to be happening later this year for the first five episodes of the Flash, which I'm excited about, um, and. 
um, yeah, it's a great show, and I do recommend giving it a chance or giving it maybe another chance. Like, if you watched season one and gave up on it, uh, give like another couple of seasons. It's basically all the other Arrowverse shows is kind of gritty compared to this. It's kind of, kind of be the relaxing in between show. And yeah, so I really, really enjoy uh, DC Legends and I'm glad it hasn't ended like Black Lightning recently ended and Supergirl recently ended. Um, and I hope we get it gets renewed for at least another season or two. And the good, and unlike other shows like The Flash, without The Flash, they had to cancel the show, or Arrow, with if the Arrow, the Arrow left, so they had to cancel the show. Um, yeah, if one or two of the heroes on Legends leave, they don't have to cancel the show, they just you know make yeah, a smaller group on the ship or. Uh, introduce another hero, or maybe bring a hero from another show. Like, since Supergirl, both Supergirl and Black Lightning is over, okay, those uh, background heroes or characters, maybe they could ask them to come on and be on the show to use for maybe a season or two. Okay, um, I might consider doing more Arrowverse videos. If you guys want me to, leave a comment below, like, and share this video. Until next time, this is Robert McMurray, over and out.